What's up YouTube? Um, today this video is going to be completely conjecture. I have no proof for what I'm about to say. So let's just start off like that because I don't you know I don't need anybody to say anything negative. I'm just simply putting out my two cents and what I believe is going on. Um, in the news lately we've been having a lot of space launches as well as missing airplanes. Um, it seems like whenever there's a technology out uh, that could be used for something, it, it, it usually is used for something. My personal belief is that 9-11, the airplanes were controlled by UAV technology um, and, and nobody was in them. It was, uh, it's, it's, you know, the UAVs have been around since uh, I believe 50s or the 60s. Um, it wasn't actually known to the public until early 90s, late 90s, around 2000 and so they could very well have used that technology to do what they did I'm not saying that's what happened I'm saying that the technology was there uh, and it's been there for quite some time now we have these new laser weapons that are being declassified because usually when they declassify something they've had it for over a decade well over a decade um, so they've declassified these laser weapons because your average Joe Blow on these ships is now going to be able to see them. So they really don't have a choice. Um, so they had to disclose that they were going to put these on ships. What I believe is actually happening is the reason why we are doing all these space, uh, space launches is so that they can put them into space. I personally believe that these missing airplanes were nothing more than a test. I believe that they used these lasers to destroy these airplanes from space. The reason why I say that is because the lack of distress calls, there's no distress calls, uh, number one. Number two, you can't lose an airplane. I mean, if you have, if you, a civilian, have a GPS in your car that can tell you when you're within feet of a turn, then they can't lose an airplane. If they have satellites that can zoom down, that can see just about anything, uh, you can't lose an airplane. The lack of distress call says that they didn't see it coming. So foul play uh, is definitely uh, a possibility, a very strong possibility. And, and the fact is, is that they. This is what this. This is the. I don't. I don't. I can't even keep up anymore. This is like the fifth or sixth plane that's gone missing without a distress call, without any wreckage, um, without any anything. I'm not talking about the most recent one. The most recent one could have been turbulent. However, I'm still saying there's lack of distress calls. There's. It could have been weather. But there's a lack of distress calls, and that <laughs> you've got to wonder what's going on, because um, we've never had anything like this. We've never had so many planes go missing at the same time that this technology is being revealed to us. Um, and they've been talking about space-based weapons for a long time. I believe the UN even has a resolution against people putting space-based weapons in outer space. However, we know they do the opposite of what they say, anyways. Um, so yeah that's just kind of my two cents and the more we look into this hello dragons fire breathing dragons the more the keys I mean that's everything there that I've explained I broke down the number nine all right we know the Falcon is Egyptian and the dragon is the serpent um, and lasers shoot fire basically they shoot energy light fire um, so to me they're using a lot of words and key phrases also another thing I want to point out here is that this <laughs> this particular spacecraft is launching the exact weight of what two two of these uh, lasers weigh so what I believe is happening is either the ships that are in the Persian Gulf and in the uh, in that area are testing these or they're testing them from space um, I understand this is totally conjecture it may not be true however if history has shown us anything 
they have no problems testing on the American population or probably any population for that matter. They just, they do not care about you. I cannot stress that enough. You are a guinea pig to them. And we will find out 40, 50, 60 years later after it's been done whether or not this is in fact the case. What they do in the dark will come out in the light. Thanks for listening.